like Saturday and I'm uh, just now getting out to the studio. Um, I have a lot of trimming to do, I have a lot of throwing to do, um, but I do have one last, last like hurrah that I'm trying to do, which is for the shop that I'm in uh, from here. It's a local art shop where they feature a lot of artisans and I'm in there and um, they pretty much asked for all of our inventory that we plan on selling for November, December, um, you know, in the holiday season, having it all in there by November 6th. So, I am going to be pushing to get all of that done to make sure I have enough mugs and bump cups and stuff. And of course we can like add stuff later and replenish stock and things like that. But they want a majority of our stuff by then. So, yeah. Which is fine for me. Actually, November is when it starts getting really cold here. Um, we sometimes even get snow. They are expecting snow in November this year. So, it gets a lot harder for me to do the pottery aspects of my business. Um going into the winter months and winter pretty much starts in November here uh if not October and so yeah so it's going to be just me pushing to get as much as I can get done I'm not going to be doing any more red clay or brown clay or anything like that um if you're curious about how the brown clay turned out make sure to check out one of my previous videos I think it was two videos ago um I go over how my thought process, how it worked, how it turned out, what I'm going to be doing going forward uh, for that kind of orange brown clay I was experimenting with. And then the red clay I've done for the year. Um, I actually threw the last of it for the Ren Fair, so I don't actually have any more in my studio, which works great for me. Um, that means I'm not going to have any clay waste or anything like that uh, going into the winter. Um, yeah, so that's kind of what the plan is for this vlog. <laughs>